Hey everybody, Fitz here again, and today I'm going to talk about the Life Pro Vivid Plus. Uh, if any of you have seen these on TV or something, I'm not this brand, but have seen these, uh, let's see, it was about eight months ago, right, a little after a pandemic started, I was binge watching TV one night and I saw an infomercial for a vibration plate machine. I was watching it for a while, I'm like, oh, didn't really know much about them. I'd heard about the Power Pros years ago, but I knew they were well out of my price range. So I watched the video and I'm like, yeah, it's kind of cool. So I did what I normally do. I did my own due process and went on the internet and started searching, learning everything I could about uh, the vibration plates, looking at all the different brands, all the different products. After about a week, I decided, you know, I've seen that there was the oscillating type and there was the linear vibration, which is up and down. Oscillating is back and forth. And uh, I was pretty much looking for something for my dad. My dad just turned 80 years old last year. And uh, he's to the point now where he can't really do much active exercising. He's having trouble. He has uh, neuropathy in his legs and doesn't have a lot of hip flexion. So he's having trouble trying different exercises. Uh, if you've seen my other video about the scoop, I love that piece of equipment, but for him, he didn't have enough uh, flexibility in his hips to be able to go through the circling and he couldn't, he's having trouble sometimes pedaling. So I was looking into something that would be a more passive exercise for him. And I came across the Life Pro brand. Uh, everything I read about Life Pro, they have a wide variety of products. Uh, they had great customer service when I was on there. I mean, they would tune in, they'd answer questions either immediately or within an hour, they'd get back to me with emails. Uh, as far as quality of uh, you know, value for the money, it's the only product I found that has lifetime warranty on this product. And also uh, what they're coming up with, uh, Joel, who's one of the owners, and Amber, who I think is a PT who works with them, continuously putting out new products, putting out Facebook Lives, putting out videos, they have an entire video content library showing exercises, how to use the products, always coming out with new products. Uh, just a top-notch company, I've really, I've dealt with them three times now, I've bought three, I bought three different products from them. So uh, what I did is, you know, I did, get, I got the turbo from my dad, and it was perfect with him. He was able to actually sit down, put his feet up on the machine, and it would oscillate, he would do the oscillating, and, or the vibe, or the linear, and it would help uh, get lymph, you know, help lymph drainage, help him get a little blood flow to the area, and also a nice massage for his lower extremities, and he loved that. So it worked well for him. Uh, basically, I think it was about November of this year, I decided maybe I should look into something for myself. And the more I looked at it, I didn't really want something for exercise or weight loss. I have obviously enough equipment around here that I use. I was looking for something more therapeutic. Uh, if you've read my sites before, you see I have psoriatic arthritis, so I'm always looking for ways to help me keep active. So I looked into the, uh, the Vivid, and the, originally I was going to get the Vivid, which is just a linear machine, a little smaller, uh, a little less expensive. And uh, what I liked about it was I knew that it was basically, with the linear vibration, it was supposed to be more therapeutic as far as almost for massaging the system. And also, um, if you did you know, want to do exercises on it, it was supposedly supposed to be good for the athlete too for you know, balance and, and st strategies that way. So I had pulled the trigger on buying the Vivid, uh, it was back, I think it was back ordered. After a while it hadn't come, so I sent them a reminder email and it seems like there must have been some internal problem. Maybe the, the order got lost or misplaced. So they were really cool and they upgraded me to the Vivid Pro. Uh, at the time I was thinking, okay, it's just a little bigger machine. It's much more than that. Uh, the one selling point I had is, uh, yes, it is a larger machine. This is 25 by 24, but the top on it is something called Nabaso, Nabaso material. And the best way to explain it that I can see is if you look really closely, there are four-sided pyramids, very small. Uh, I measured, there's basically, for every square inch, there's 25 of these little pyramids. And it's kind of a hard rubber. It's not really, it's not a firm plastic. It's more like a hard rubber. And they're all over, I mean, I don't know, basically probably 23 by 20 inches of it. And at first I thought, okay, you know, they advertise it, maybe it's the gimmick. This stuff is amazing. Uh, I basically have, it hasn't really been diagnosed. My doctor thinks it's like pre-carpal tunnel. I basically have to sleep at night with uh, wrist braces and it's been limiting my wrist mobility and uh, a lot of strength in my arms. What I found out with this machine is I'll turn it on. And here, set it to mode. What happens with this material is when you place your hand onto it, like I said, about 25 of these little pyramids per square inch, they press in and it's almost like acupressure. They position themselves, they cover the entire surface area of your hands, 
And you know, for some people might say it's a little too intense. So what you can do is you can back up and just place your, or you can passively place your hands on here, or you can actively get into it. So I'll start the machine. And what's basically happening at this point, I've got my hands passively on there, and all those uh, pyramids are pressing in, and all the points, they start to send the vibration. The linear movement is going through those points, up into the tissues, and then through the arms, and through a lot of the muscles. So I can passively put my hands here, and I get a nice little vibration through the hands. It's therapeutic. As I start to put more weight onto it and go into a plank position, what happens is you actually have the machine sending the waves up through my arm. So it's almost like it's using the, the humerus and radius as a almost a pitchfork or a tuning fork. And I feel the vibrations up through the muscle, through the bone, but it radiates out into the muscle. So here I'm actually getting a nice vibration or exercise through my forearms. There, I'll just make it through my forearms through my shoulders, up into my traps. You don't want to lock your arms out because when you do that, you're actually, you're almost, your teeth almost chatter. So you want to actually keep a little bend in your arms. But at this point, it's amazing what it feels like on my hands. I'm getting this nice vibration through, you know, 25 per square inch through the whole surface of the hand. It's going through the soft tissue of my, my hand. It's going through the muscles. I'm getting the vibration all the way through the shoulders. It's great. And then what I've done with my exercises, I've actually gone into, I'll do down dog. I'll switch over into side planks. Or in yoga, they'll call it threading the needle. All the while getting the massage through the shoulders. I'm feeling it up through my traps, everything. So it's a great therapeutic piece of equipment. I mean, I'm definitely still getting a workout there because you can tell with that, that linear vibration, my muscles are flexing trying to fight the, t uh, the tension or the vibration it's doing, but I'm feeling it more, for my benefit, I just find it's very therapeutic. You can do push-ups on it. If you wanted, you could pass and put your forearms on. You can get a nice massage for any area you want. You can put your calves. And again, that Nabasso of materials is wonderful. Uh, you know, a definite selling point. If I had to do it all over again, I think I would tell someone definitely pay the extra money. It's worth it. You'll love the stuff. The other benefit I got now, like I said, it's and, and when I'm done, I don't know if you can see this, but you can see the imprints on my hand that it leaves. Now again, it's not painful. It's just uh, it presses in there, and you don't have to put that much effort. Like I said, if you just passively put your hands there. It's fine. If you put more weight on it, yes, it's going to push in. But I find that the more it pushes in, oh my gosh, it just, it feels, I'm not going to say it actually is, but it feels like it's breaking up all the scar tissue. It's just expanding and warming up those muscles where I get done, I hear craps, crack, <laughs> pops and crackles. And I got a lot more range of motion that gets me through the day. The other benefit that I learned is, oh, probably about 10 years ago, I took up barefoot running. When I first got diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis, uh, first five years or so before and after before I couldn't run I got to the point where I just kept having calf issues I was pulling my calf found out that SRPA it does affect the tendons or especially the uh, uh, Achilles tendon and that would cause you know calf issues so I had to get away from the put the, the regular toe push off running so I went to the barefoot running which is basically if you've ever read the book uh, born to run you'll find out it's basically using the barefoot you're using the foot's natural arches to support and you're using the muscles of the lower body as cushions. One of the things too is it really makes you adept at knowing your surroundings. You would never think when you're barefoot running of coming down heel first because there's no padding there. So you come down and you're very tactile focused. You uh, you feel the material, you know, you, you'll feel the ground under you and every time you feel something sharp or, or, or off balance, your accessory muscles on either side of the leg start to kick in and they basically will uh, adapt and start working out with you. So as you're coming to uneven territory, the muscles start working, so you actually start using those alter alternative ex aux ex auxiliary muscles. Now, uh, what happens is when you're wearing normal shoes, a lot of times you don't have to do that. Nowadays, if you, if you go into a typical shoe, shoes have the big, thick cushion in the heel to, to absorb the shock and then roll forward. And a lot of them have devices that are built into the sides so that you don't either pronate or supernate. 
So basically the foot just goes along for the ride, goes back and forth. So a lot of those muscles, the auxiliary muscles, start to atrophy because they're not being used. So barefoot running is a great way to, ex to exercise and, uh, and strengthen all the different muscles of the lower body. In the wintertime, I don't get out as much, or if I get on a treadmill, I can't do much. But what I found with this is, again, the same thing, that Nabasso material, when I stand on it, oh my gosh, you feel all of those little pyramids in the bottom of your feet across the whole thing expanding. Right now, standing on it, it's a wonderful massage just for the bottom of my foot. It just feels great. I typically am one of those people who walks around barefoot all the time if possible. I wear the Zero shoes. If you ever saw those on the internet, they're, the, they're more like sandals. Right now, it's a wonderful massage for the bottom of my foot, feeling the arches, the balls, the toes. What you can also do, though, is if you go up and balance on it, now what's happening is with the vibration, my muscles are flexing, they're fighting, so I'm getting exercise, and I'm actually simulating what I do when I run barefoot. The lower muscles, you're gonna find, you'll see the calves and all these muscles are actually trying to flicker and move. I'm using all the auxiliary ones to keep my ankles from rolling. If you ever wanna balance, you can use these two if you want more support. So you can actually go into different yoga poses. You can also just do squats. And if you want to simulate barefoot running, barefoot running is basically you want to, you just lift one foot, lift the other, and it's basically just quick turnover. So by putting a little balance or flexing my knees, I can actually set this for 10 minutes, which would be the equivalent of running about a mile, and I can basically off-season train, keep my proprioception and my feet for getting ready for winter or summer and fall when I can run again for spring, and also working the calf, the quads, and all the additional muscles. So that was an added perk. I had thought before just the therapeutic benefit was great, but it is wonderful for my feet. And again, as I'm standing on it, if you have a little flex in your legs, I'm feeling the vibrations through my calves, through my quads, glutes, up along the spine. If you lock your knees out, it'll make your teeth chatter. So you never want to lock out because what happens then, basically all the muscle or the bones are on top of each other and it's just vibrating upward. So you put a little flex in there, but I feel all upper body. You get a nice lymph drainage they talk about, but also it's just very therapeutic. You actually feel like it's a nice vibration, relaxing. And like I said, if you want to make it more into an exercises, if you do squats, if you do balances, just wonderful alternative. So I'd have to say that I am definitely a fan of uh, linear vibration machines, and I'm definitely a fan of LifePro. Uh, this company has been terrific, uh, reaching out, developing, like I said, everything before. So if you're interested in, a, in, t in t any of these products or in uh, again, if you want to look for specific models, definitely reach out to their customer service and they'll pinpoint telling you what to do. I gave you a little idea of the turbo with the oscillating versus the linear here, but I'm just going to say that if you're looking for something with therapeutic benefits or if you're looking for, uh, if you know, like I said, barefoot running or that, uh, I would go with the Vivid or Vivid Pro. I would say definitely spend the extra money for the Vivid Pro. The Navasso is fantastic and I think you'll, you'll really enjoy it. Uh, that's it for now. Until next time, I'm Fitz. Hope you... If you learned something, have a great one.